Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes. Today I have a great monthly beach themed jewelry and lifestyle subscription that has been sent to me for review once again. It's called the Lani Makana or Beautiful Gift Ohana Jewelry Club. It is $50 per month plus $5.95 in shipping. It always includes one to two pieces of beautiful Lani Makana jewelry and the website has so much more. So many other jewelry designs as well as home decor and accessories so definitely make sure you check that out as well. In addition to those one to two jewelry pieces, we also get two to three lifestyle items that go along with other whatever beach theme she has chosen for the month. Now this month it just came in a plain white box because this was in an outer mailer that actually had the Lani Makana logo on it. One of the items was a little bit too big to fit into the box, but we will talk about that later. Now if you are interested in checking out the subscription or anything else on the website, you can use the code HiNoel and that will save you 10% not only on the subscription on that first month, but also of course on anything on the website. So like I said, if you love kind of beachy themes and handmade jewelry, handmade home decor, definitely check out her beautiful site. Now, if you are new to my channel, I open all kinds of subscription boxes, mostly lifestyle, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and the very, very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I do hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you will find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, whenever I announce giveaways, and there's always a secret password giveaway going on as a thank you to my subscribers and of course whenever I go live. As always, if you're already subscribed, if you are already what we call a no-bot, that's the members of our fun little community here, then thank you so much for being here and welcome back. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm already seeing some tropical vibes. I was kind of trying to remember what the theme is. So the July box came a little bit late. That's okay. She's gonna get back on track this month, I'm sure. So we always get two cute little postcards that you can use as note cards, you can use as little uh, desk art, but I always think it's really cute. So here is some coral, some pink coral, which is usually at depths of like 1200 feet, you guys. The pink coral is hard to find. It's down there with the red coral and the black coral's a little bit less deep, more shallow. The black coral's more around like 200 feet. This coral's more like 1200 feet, hard to find. So it says, the ocean holds my heart. That's so cute. You guys know I love beachy themes as someone who grew up in Hawaii and now lives here in Southern California. So, ooh, we got gifts from heaven. So heavenly gifts is what Lani Makana would translate to. What a cute little sticker, little, little branding there. I don't mind that too much with the, the big plumeria there. And then we've got, I'm looking for our product card, of course. It says, we are rebranding, so please excuse any mismatched logos. So they are going from into that plumeria with a wave, which is pretty darn cute. I like that. So Coral Reef, of course, in case you didn't already guess, is our theme for July. So I'm going to hold this little card up for me. It says, uh, again, excuse our packaging. We had to think outside the box to fit all of our items, and I'll show you guys that. We got a little jewelry cleaning cloth. I'm into that. So inside, we get our Lani. Makana little little bag and you can see that is the old logo of course with the waves still waves there but we have the plumeria now which I think is really cute kind of has that like Heather Brown style to it and then inside we've got our jewelry so these are exciting Ooh, and these came in some variations and she is usually kind enough to let me um, tr like select which colors I want and subscribers get to choose as well you get to customize look at these coral earrings you guys these clay coral earrings aren't they the cutest it says that they are sterling silver earrings. So I'm gonna do something unusual, you guys, and uh, which it's not unusual for me to try them on, but some of you have um, accused me of not having a right ear. So I am gonna show you that I do in fact have a right ear. It's a big day for you. You're gonna see my right ear as I try on these earrings. And you guys know I prefer a nice big dangly earring that is gonna show up in my hair even when I do wear it on the right side. So I know my no-bots are already, already going crazy because they're seeing my right ear, which is like an ongoing joke. But there it is. I think those are adorable. I love the coral color. I had to go with the coral color with the coral earrings. Well, now I feel lopsided because you are still gonna see the other ear, so I'm gonna have to put the other earring on. It did have a little, um, little plastic backer to protect it from poking through the other cards, so I didn't take that off on the other side and I was wondering what was like flying across the room. That's what was flying across the room. So, let's see. All right, perfect. 
Those are awesome. So beachy, so perfect, but I can use these year round year round as well. All right. And then the other item that we received jewelry wise is this very sweet little shell bar necklace on silver. Super duper cute. Totally goes with my earrings. She probably made sure that it goes with the earrings. So this is the coral bar necklace finished with rhodium plated sterling silver chain. Super duper cute. I love that. And I like that it's not too matchy matchy. So we got the, well, it says coral, but I'm guessing well, maybe it is coral. Maybe there are little bits of pink coral there along with some shell. Some of it is definitely shell. Maybe it's all coral. I don't know. All right. <laughs> we also got some ocean hair barrettes. These are cute. They're little alligator clips. So let me go ahead and pull these off. So they're just, again, made out of clay. She's been doing a lot of designs with clay. This one's really cute. So if you just are someone who can just like clip your hair up on this side, you know, that's adorable. This one, these are sand dollars. You're like probably wanting me to do it on this side so you can see my ears some more. It's still there, you guys. These are really cute. I like these little sand dollars. They just have a little simple almost like flower printed on them. Can you guys see that design? Probably not. It's still trying to focus on me. There we go. See, now you can see. So that is pretty darn cute. I don't know that I would wear them like together, but usually I can use like clips like this. So it kind of sticks out a little bit. So I'd probably like do like a twist and then it would stay up a little bit better. Now let's talk about our other lifestyle items that came along with this box. So this looks like a little self-care item. So it says it's by Kosh Clean Options for Self and Home. It's a sunscreen in the scent of lemongrass. Now I have don't think I've ever seen a sunscreen come in a jar form. This is two ounces though. Wow. It is a reef safe sunscreen. So reef safe sunscreens tend to be pretty darn thick because they usually use zinc instead of any like oxybenzone or octanoxate, which is fine. Um, I feel like sunscreen is something, ooh, it does smell like lemongrass. It smells really, really good actually. So that is something that we always use in my household because we are definitely people who like to go to the beach. My husband is a surfer and he's finally getting to go back to surfing. So I'm really excited about this and it does smell really good. So coconut oil, almond oil, white beeswax, non-nano zinc oxide, see, vitamin E oil and lemongrass essential oil. All right, pretty cool. I feel very young with my hair like this. Um, and then finally, the item that did not fit into the little box, so we had to get a bigger one, is this really cool little crossbody bag. I thought this was adorable with this little faux tassel. So it is like a faux leather, so it kind of has that like plasticky feel to it, which is great because then you can totally wipe it clean. But look at the coral reef design on it, and it is actually a crossbody bag. I was kind of hoping that it was a clutch, but inside there is a crossbody strap. Mine has got Gotten a little bit crushed I will say but I do like that it is removable Ooh, I think one of the, I think there might be two straps hold on because I'm seeing a lot of clips so looks like yeah the one that just dropped on the ground that was a wristlet this is another clip that is adjustable obviously so here's the hooks on either side so it can go on there and then you can slide that buckle so that you can get it to the right length but it is a crossbody as well as a wristlet which it makes me super happy and then let's see what it looks like on the interior so inside it just has a little branded tag there but it does have a zipper pocket which is kind of nice so there is some organization i would just probably have to kind of straighten out that crossbody strap because it bugs me when uh, you're using faux leather because it does get kind of crinkly and folded like this and it doesn't like straighten out as nice as leather but the uh, wristlet strap which I managed to pick up that is not too crunched up so it's just going to take like kind of putting it under some heavy books for a while to kind of flatten it back out but I would totally use this for like a beach vacation as my cute little uh, my cute little wristlet or Sometimes it is nice to be hands-free. Of course, you could have your barrettes in there. You could even have your little sunscreen in there. I usually like to have these as something to organize the smaller items that go into my big beach tote, right? Or if you're going on a boat trip or something and you kind of just want to have like your wallet, maybe your sunglasses, maybe your lipstick all in this tiny bag. And then it doesn't get lost in the depths of your big bag that's carrying your towels and your cover up and everything else. So I think this is really cute. I. I'm not sure that I would reach for it before other bags that I have, but I kind of like that it is that almost like very easy to wipe clean material because it seems like it's suited for the beach for that reason. Um, I'm not sure. I 
I'll give this sunscreen a try. It doesn't necessarily say what the SPF is on it, so I might have to like look it up and see because I usually try to use 30 or above, but I do like that it is reef safe for sure. I love these clay coral earrings. I'm not sure I'll use the clips just because I don't use a lot of like barrettes in my hair these days, but I am feeling the coral earrings. The bar necklace isn't my usual style, but I might hold on to it just to compliment these earrings because I do like a good beachy accessory look. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think, what colors you would have chosen. Definitely check out the website if you haven't already. And remember, you can save uh, you can save 10% using the code HiNoel. I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.